What's going on guys? Mega Ishi here from the Club Third Earth subscription. I got the Thundercats Classics Pumira. Let's do it. Welcome back guys to another Thundercats Classic action figure review and as you can see by this black shipper box You got the Thundercats logo and we have Pumira inside of this box now the shipper box is pretty cool in itself We do have the full Thundercats logo right here on one side of this shipper We have some awesome black and white artwork of the Thundercats lair and on the other we have some artwork also in black and white of Pumira who looks very angry now let's take Pumira out of this box and let's see what her real packaging looks like Bam. Now, Pomyra looks amazing. I can't wait to get her out of this packaging, but this is your standard window box for all of the Thundercats Classics figures. At the bottom, we have some artwork of Lionel looking through the Sword of Omens. You see the Eye of Thundera and some molded in blade plastic here, which is very cool. And then we have Pumyra holding a throwing star. We have her whip, two interchangeable hands, and this awesome accessory here, which I'm not familiar with, but we'll find out when we get it out of the box, maybe. Thundercats Classic, the full color logo at the top. On one side, you have a prettier and more tame looking Pumyra. And on this side, you have the fully embossed on the cat's logo like we've seen with other packaging and then Pumira at the bottom and at the back you have both images that we saw on the shipper box fully colored and towards the bottom you have a fully colored Thundercats logo and a bio for Pumira. go ahead and pause it here if you want to read it all right let's take Pumira outside of this box and let's see what she's all about now here is the team healer Pumira outside of her packaging and she stands at seven inches in height now that makes her on par with other figures in the Thundercats classic collection and of course the masses of universe classic so they all should scale in well together and a very cool thing about this is that it's our first glimpse and an adult female character in this Thundercats classic line. I mean, I know we all wish we could have had a Chitara figure to start things off, but I'm not mad at this. I'm actually a lot more impressed with this figure than I thought I would be. She does have that throwing weapon accessory in her right hand. She has the whip cord, and then she has that magical artifact. Now, I actually had to Google this. It is called the Totem of Dera, and it helps with healing, which makes sense because she is the team healer. And of course, she has two interchangeable hands. Now, let's take a closer look at Pumira. Now, as is the case with other characters from the classic Thundercats cartoon, with the exclusion of Panthro, you can see the 80 inspired hairdo of Pumira. Now they've done a great job of recreating this look here in action figure form. I mean take a look at the sculpt to detail with all that line work. You got the nice flow, you got the poofy top, you have the cattail like sideburns just like a whip cord but just a nice job with the paint separation of the brown and that white streak and even the white paint at the ends of her hair. Now she does have a decent face sculpt. I mean her side profile is beautiful and her front a little bit less but what wins me over is the paint applications of this face. For the most part it is very clean. You do see some smudging of the brown of her hair on the top of her forehead so that could have been a little bit cleaner and you do also have some smudging under her left eyebrow you do have the red of her eyes which are nicely centered i love the white behind them and you even have the light reflecting off and the black pupils all nicely painted and you have that beautifully done outline around each eye you do have some shading underneath her eyebrow to represent some of the makeup and she has a very thick layer of that brown paint by her cheeks you can see how glossy that is nice application of the lipstick paint and just so you know pretty decent sculpt all the way throughout you do have those big cat like ears towards the side which transition between the flesh tone that you see on the front of her face and almost like a darker brown going up towards the top now going down to her neck she has this awesome neck collar which is very cool and nicely painted in that gold that looks awesome on her left shoulder area, she does have this little shoulder guard, which again is nicely sculpted and painted in that red. Her costume design is pretty basic. You can see the nicely sculpted uh, dress piece there, which is all done with that brown paint, which looks nice. But what really stands out is that awesome Thundercats logo that is nicely centered on her chest. And look at the separation between that black of the cat and the red of the rest of the emblem. That looks so cool. You got some more nice sculpt look here of the wrinkles. And then you can see the separation between her flesh tone and the rest of the brown of her costume. Now around her waist, she carries her whip cord like a belt. And the cool thing about this lighter brown, soft, plasticky material is that it comes right off her waist. And as you can see, it's an extra accessory for her. This is so cool. And again, here you have the cattails at the bottom. She has this left golden armband, which is matching the color on her neck, which looks pretty cool. And then the clean paint applications continue on throughout the rest of her hands. And the separation between that wider portion and the darker flesh tone. Now the arms are in the same muscular mold that we've seen with some of the females in the Masters of the Universe Classics figure, so nothing different there. And again, she has this basic skirt piece, but she has some nice sculpted wrinkles at the front and the back. But what's really cool about this is that awesomely sculpted and painted pouch. I really like the soft muscular sculpt of her legs, and we've seen this again with the Motu Classic female figures, but it looks so good here on Pumira. Again, we have the same flesh tone paint applied at the bottom as we do above. Going down her legs, we have the nicely sculpted boots which looks so cool you can see the line work at the tip of her boots we have those nice gold gems at the top as well got some wrinkles sculpted down by her toes some more of the line work by her heels 
And at the bottom, we do have some peg holes if you're having any trouble standing up Pumaira. Now, real quick for accessories, again, I show you the lighter brown whip cord that we have here, the one that wraps around her waist, which is very cool. And then we have the one that is not actually a whip. It's actually molded in plastic all the way in this position permanently. It is somewhat flexible, but you can see the pellets that she whips out of her whip cord when she uses it in uh, yellow, blue, and red. Now, we have this throwing star or boomerang, whatever you want to call it, which is nicely done with the paint. Pretty basic, though. You just have gray paint, but you do have that nice deep red at the center which is nicely applied now the star of her accessories would have to be this totem of Dara again it is a magical artifact I love the sculpt of it with the spiral going downward all painted in that gold and look at the separation between that sky blue of that diamond and the gold of the handle this looks so awesome now for her extra hand she does have a left hand with an open grip that matches her right hand and then she also comes with a right fisted hand now to exchange the hands all you have to do is wiggle and pop this one out that came out easily enough and then you slide the next one in until you hear the the snap and there you go now for articulation it's gonna be somewhat familiar again but you can rotate the head all the way around as you can see you have to just maneuver the thick hair sculpt at the back out of the way and the front sideburns here are very flexible you do get a little bit of tilting action because it is on a ball peg now because of the thick hair sculpt at the back she cannot raise her head anymore but she can look down just a little bit we do have a rotation at the shoulder and a hinge which allows for extension all the way up like that and of course downward as well we do have a bicep swivel we have a single jointed elbow and we have a rotation at the wrist and also a hinge at the wrist we do have 360 weight swivel now the range of motion of her legs is going to be limited because of the sculpt of her skirt thankfully it is a flexible plastic so as you can see i'm going to raise the leg to the side and that's about as far as it can go and you can see the plastic is being stretched she can kick her leg up and the same thing happens here but she does have more range of motion as you're kicking it towards the back it seems to be a lot softer towards the back now there's also rotation at the upper part of a thigh you just have to get the sculpt out of the way and as you can see i rotated it all the way around we do have a single jointed knee and we have a hinge at the ankle which allows for downward flexion a very good amount and upward flexion a decent amount as well and not to mention we do have an ankle rocker rotation now here's a shot of all of the thundercats team members currently in the thundercats classic lineup now i did want to point out that the lionel figure is actually shorter than the pumira figure which is kind of throwing me off so hopefully down the line super seven and the four horsemen can correct that but even though Pumaira is one of the lesser known Thundercats members, she does look pretty cool with the rest of the group. So there you have it guys, my video review of the Thundercat classic Pumaira. Such an awesome addition to this ever growing Thundercats lineup. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up and check out my channel for other reviews I have done. I have so many cool things coming your way, so make sure you all like, subscribe, comment, and share. You know what to do. Peace.